car's on the driveway. Decent chance he's home. I want eyes out here in case any of Marsha's pals show up. Copy that. Reacher. A good man died in my arms last night. Whatever you do to Marsh, make him feel it. Is that the going price of an honest cop's life these days? You can try, but that wouldn't be smart. Listen, I did not want Russo to die, all right? The guy worked under me since he was a rookie. That's why you couldn't do it yourself. So you made a call, just like Langston called those bikers in Boston. Cowards like you never like to get your hands dirty. Oh, it wasn't like that, okay? Yeah, I told Langston that Russo was onto him, but I didn't think in a million years that they would kill him. I figured it wise up when they dropped a bag of cash at his feet. Like that one? Yeah. Who the hell wouldn't take this kind of money? Russo wouldn't. And anyone who knew him as long as you did would know that. So when you called Langston, you knew exactly what would happen. Go for it. If you really think you can grab it and fire before I do. Or you can tell me what I want to know and use that phone to turn yourself in. Prison's not a great place for ex-cops, but it's better than the alternative. Barely. the buyer, Mahmoud, Mason, Marino, or whatever the hell he calls himself, will soon come into possession of 650 shoulder-fired surface-to-air missiles, and that he's due to meet with Langston and a New Age engineer to get the Little Wing software chips installed in the hardware. I need to know when and where that meeting's taking place. I don't know what the f*** are you talking about. Nobody ever said anything like that to me. Oh, oh, oh God. God. Stop. Please. I swear. I'm telling the truth. Langston hired me to keep tabs on Russo and just tell him what he got close, that's it! Then I guess we're done here. No, no, wait, wait, stop, stop! I'm, I'm looking at Grant, Grant would know. Who's Grant? The, the guy you ran over last night. He's dead. He's not. Turn, turn on the news, he's not dead. He's in intensive care in Mount Sinai. Uh, See? Being an honest cop isn't that hard. Just ask Russo. Oh, wait. Or square. No one's gonna be looking for you in Buffalo, but if you guys feel like you need to stretch your legs even for a block or two, wear these, pull them down tight, low to your eyebrows. Small precaution, big benefits, right? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Driver's got five grand in cash in pocket. That guarantees you a safe trip to Dixon's friend's place. Okay. Okay, Jane? Yeah. <laughs> this isn't gonna do. Uh, you know. When my boys started in T-ball, I had to teach them how to break in a cap. And I know everyone thinks it's cool to warm straight for him, but I'm trying to bring back a classic look. You want to help me out? Sure. How's that? It's good. Yeah? Let's see. There you go. Okay. Hey. You're gonna be fine. Your mom, she's pretty brave. And the dangerous stuff, that's over. So you'll be all right. I promise. Okay. Okay? There you go. Okay, well, uh, typically it's hard for women to say goodbye to me, so let's get you girls out of here before you get too attached. <laughs> 